Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to a new series. And today we are going to be playing Taurus Trophy. If you guys want to stay up to date with this series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to check out the links in the description for our socials. We have Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so welcome to a new series. Today we are playing Taurus Trophy and what we are going to be doing first of all is going through all of the licenses. Basically Taurus Trophy is the same as Gran Turismo. What is it doing now? Uh, so basically Taurus Trophy is Gran Turismo. Um, it's made by Polyphony Digital and it is based around bikes instead of cars. So, uh, it's sort of going to be a little bit of a mix-up. We haven't actually played a bike game on the channel before. Um, so, this is going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to this. So, uh, we're going to go into Tourist Trophy mode, which is like Gran Turismo mode. Let's do this. Just got to wait for the loading screens. It's a little bit slow on the loading side sometimes. Um, so, the way this game is structured, uh, welcome to the world of Taurus Trophy. The first step is to learn the fundamentals of riding motorbikes so that you can compete safely and effectively. Okay, so what you have is license school. You learn how to drive, same as um, Gran Turismo. You've got challenge mode, which is basically your garage where you, you don't buy uh, bikes in this game, you unlock them. So, challenge mode is how you unlock some of the bikes. And then you've got race events. There's only 22 championships, so not a lot, but still quite a bit and quite a lot of content in this game to get a few videos out of. Um, so first of all, we're starting off with the novice license. We've got 10 missions to do. Let's start with uh, number one then. So I am hoping that these videos come out fairly decently. Um, I sort of was a bit skeptical because of how bad the quality can look with PS2. Um, so the first one is Braking Basics. So in this test you will try out your braking skills on a Yamaha Grand Majesty 250. The objective of this test is to brake and come to a stop in the marked goal area 500 meters ahead of the starting point. To avoid disqualification be careful not to exceed the time limit or ride out of bounds. Designed to help the rider find the correct braking point, braking will begin at close to maximum speed, requiring more stopping distance than you may think. By taking advantage of the distance, display boards and signs, try to pinpoint the appropriate brake point, should you need to be aggressive in using the L2 button on the straights to crouch down. Okay, so that is... So we're going to have to crouch down. That's a fair enough thing. Right, let's go. Oh my gosh, it's slow. And uh, this game as well, they've uh, introduced a braking line by the looks of it. Oh my gosh, 27 seconds for a goal. Oh! It actually shows you where to exactly brake. I lifted. I lifted. But uh, that's the silver. We'll try once more to get a gold. Alright, let's do this. Maybe if I do that... Um, well, we got a better start straight off the line instantly. So that's good. Um, but if I try breaking... As soon as that red line hits and then just keep breaking, might have a better chance then. Where is the red line? Too far! No! I was too far off. Okay. Well, I'm not aiming for golds or anything like that, so uh, I will take the silver that we got before. I will take that. And we will move straight on to license number two for the novice. What is this going to be? Uh, so this is Breaking Basics again, but we're going to be using a Honda CBR600RR. I have no idea what these bikes are, but uh, I know there are people watching that probably do. Um, so we are going to be doing the same as what we did in the last one, but this is a lightweight sports bike instead. So we're going to be much more cautious on our braking point. 
18.3 seconds we're aiming for for this one. Let's go. And we're off. Ducking down straight away. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And up. All right, a silver medal. That was very good. Um, I think I did that thing again where I lifted. So uh, we're going to do another try. Again, not aiming for gold. So don't be expecting golds for... I mean, the race is that I will get golds for everything. Because you have to come first in those. But uh, the licenses I've never been able to do very well. Oh, okay. We were much, much quicker that time, but uh, still a bit far off. So that was fairly decent, though. Let's go on to the third license. Let's go. I'm really excited for this game, though, to, like, complete this. It'll be really exciting. Uh, so next up is Ride and Basics Circles. So test your basic cornering skills by doing three laps on a circular 30R course. 30R. I'm guessing that's like 30 meter radius. Um, the test machine will be a Suzuki Skywave 250 SS. To avoid disqualification, stay within the time limit and be careful not to touch the cones along the outer edge or ride into the gravel along the inner edge. The trick is to pass in this test is to hold a steady banking angle while controlling the racing line with a correct application of throttle and rear brakes. This test is designed to help you learn how to control your cornering by understanding how the racing line is affected by throttle and brakes while leaning. Interesting. So uh, we're relying on the rear brake, which if I'm right is R2. Yes, it is. All right, we're off. Oh, this is this is sketchy. Ah, uh, we've gone too close on the inside. No, nope. if we get a silver, that's fine for me. To be honest, we're not even probably going to get a bronze. Look at this. Forty, forty-one. Ah, uh, we just got the bronze. Ah, uh, that is a tricky one. That is a tricky mission. But uh, it's fine. Not a problem for us. Uh, let's go to the next one. I didn't like that mission whatsoever. Right, what is this next? Next objective is Raiden Basics 2. So it's a circle again, but this time using the Yamaha XJR1300. Let's go. Oh, look at that. That's a decent looking bike. I will say that right now. And let's start to... Oh, no. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was double-checking my audio level. Right, let's do this. And we're off. This is going well so far. Nice. I don't know. Are you supposed to tuck for this one? Are you supposed to crouch? I can see the finish line. Floor it. Ah, uh, not quite. Still another bronze. Fair enough, though. There are obviously people that are a lot more skilled than me, so... Yeah, <laughs> don't expect much. I've never really done, like, bike riding games, so this is completely new for me. Uh, so let's go to the next one. I've never played Ride, never played Tourist Trophy, never played any of those bike games. 
They just haven't appealed immediately to me, but I felt like... Let's give Taurus Trophy a try. Uh, so this is a slalom now. Oh, this sounds good. Uh, this test takes place on the home stretch of the Fuji Speedway, where you will be undertaking a cone slalom test on a Yamaha T-Max. Be careful not to touch the cones and swerve onto the grass, as you will be disqualified. Falling off or exceeding the time limit are also grounds for disqualification. Try to maintain a good rhythm by synchronizing the handling, throttle, and rear brakes as you clear each line of the cones. The trick to passing this test is to maintain enough speed to continue a rhythmical run. Very similar, actually, to um, car slalom. But I'm guessing this sort of has to be a little bit more flat out because there's obviously the more flow. Bikes sort of seem to flow much better. Okay. Oh, that was very good. No way. Hey, we got a gold medal for that one. First try. That was decent. That was very good. Wow. I'm impressed by that. I'm impressed by that. I, I will gladly take that. We didn't have any faults, any slowing down, no nothing. So that made that very smooth. Let's have a look. So the next one is cornering basics, breaking to lean in. Taking place on one of the hairpin curves of twin ring Mategi. This test is all about learning the basic skills of cornering. The machine you will be riding is a Yamaha XJR1300. We've already driven this. Um, here you can hone up such basic riding skills as braking, cornering, and acceleration. Of the hairpin cones at Twin Ring Mategi, the one used here is the tightest. Keep an eye out for the distance displayed board on the side of the course to determine when to brake. Try to accelerate as soon as your machine changes direction and be sure to take advantage of the wide course to practice finding the best racing line. Use the throttle and rear brakes to adjust your speed when cornering. Be careful not to lose or gain too much speed as it may lead you off course. Okay, fair enough. So keeping it slow and steady is the key basically. And then we can accelerate here. Probably could have accelerated a bit earlier actually. 14, 15. Fair enough. Silver, I'll take that. I think we could give it another try though. Let's keep ducks down then. Ah, oh, that was dreadful. Rubbish, we fell off. <laughs> not not a chance. Okay, we're not going to get the um, 14.7. We saved 0 0.18 seconds. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to get that anytime soon. So uh, we're going to go straight to the next one then. That is number six done. Novice six done. Uh, I think these licensed videos are going to be quite short compared to like the rest of them. Because of... Um, they're quite quick. Uh, so this test consists of riding from the second to the fourth corner of Laguna Seca Raceway. Now I'm interested to see how the corkscrew is handled with bikes in this game. Because <laughs> that's going to be a nightmare. Uh, we're going to be using a Triumph Sprint ST. Keep in mind that the braking point will be different for each corner as well as the acceleration point. Try to remember that the key to passing this test is to focus on the corners as you look for the best racing line. Maintaining as much speed as possible, although the number appearing on the si track side display board is there to help you gauge the distance to the next corner. Note that it does not denote actual distance. The closer you get to the corner, the smaller the number will become. Use this information in deciding when to break. Right, here we go. Let's try this. So we're crouched. And no 
nope, there was no breaking whatsoever. <laughs> Absolutely messed that up. The breaking line didn't go red, so um, I think I am relying on it a bit too much. That was an okay corner there. Get back tucked down. Very nice. Tuck down again. Nice, nice, nice. 31, 32, 33.4. So we got the silver medal. See, silver is sort of my area to aim for in whenever I play Gran Turismo. Because I know I'm not going to get gold because I'm an absolute noob. But silver is a good compromise for me. Obviously, some people want to get gold. That's totally fine. If you're good enough to get gold and get gold, then you go. But I, I'm not good enough to get gold. Uh, so next one is Corner and Basics 3. Uh, this test will see you facing corners with decreasing radii. Oh, fancy word. On a mountainous course. The stage has been set at El Capitan. That is a nice track. Your machine is a Honda F, uh, VFR 400R. To take advantage of the wide course, accelerate early to gain speed quickly. As this is a road course that has been cordoned off for this test, there are no distance display boards telling you how close you are to the next corner. Observe the surrounding scenery to the side on the best breaking point. Don't let first impressions fool you, as what appears to be a tight corner may change radius further back or end up being a sweeper without any camber. Diversity is what makes this course so distinctive. Keep trying until you can find the best racing line. Well, the racing line is already there, so that's one problem solved. Okay, this is good. Keep it going. Keep it smooth and steady. We're tucked back down again. Nice. And we got a silver again. I think if I did sit down and just like grind these out, I could get gold. But uh, silvers are fine for me. Silvers are fine. Nice. Uh, so next up, let's have a look what the second to last license test is. Bum, bum, bum. Bada bum. Okay. So this one is high speed cornering and by the looks of it we're on Is that Apricot Hill? Or high speed ring? Uh high speed ring. Uh so for this test you'll be riding a Suzuki GSXR 600 and experience ultra fast speeds on the high speed ring. You'll be going full throttle at top speeds of 250 kilometers an hour for long stretches. Be careful not to underestimate the stopping distance or lose control of your machine as you break from top speeds. Also remember that the stopping distance from such breakneck speeds will be much greater than you think and that the wind pressure and gravity from braking will make cornering a different experience from that of lower speeds. Once again, there are no distance display boards, so you will have to try the test repeatedly to figure out when to accelerate, how to approach the corners and what the best braking points are. Okay. That was an instant start as well, so uh, I wasn't prepared. So we're taking the first two corners, which is this long sweeping corner. This is a very quick, very fast corner that you have to look out for. And uh, braking while crouch, it was very wobbly then. I think maybe while braking, you definitely have to like uncrouch yourself. Which sort of makes logical sense anyways. There we go, 35.1. That's a very good time, actually. That's a very good one. And the fact that there is so much sort of, like, variety between, like, gold and bronze that people don't feel left out, it's fairly decent. Fairly good. So people who are lower down than me can still get a medal. And people who are higher up still have a challenge. So it's fairly decent. 
Uh, so this is now the novice grad class. Uh, passing this test will take you out of the novice class. To do so, you must undergo a time trial around the Autumn Ring Mini. At only one kilometer in length, the Autumn Ring Mini is a relatively short course, but the narrow track width and myriad corners makes it hi a highly technical course. Be sure to decelerate properly and take the corners into account when looking for the best racing lines. Memorize the course completely before you venture out and remember to distinguish when to decelerate and when to accelerate. Your ride for this test will be a Yamaha T-Max, the leading sports scooter on the market. All right. Okay, so yeah, we can tuck still. There we go, tuck in. Oh, that lean though. That seemed very low for um, comfort. Oh, that's a good corner there. Nice, come on. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, we were so close to a 46.2. I feel like if we got the break-in zone on the first and the second corner right, we would have gotten that gold. In that case, we'll try it again. Okay, I thought we would have actually had a much better exit out of that corner, but apparently not. No, we went too far off. There's a good corner there. Very good corner there. I don't even know how to look back and I don't want to look back because I know I'm going to mess it up if I do. Oh my gosh, look at that. We're going to get gold. We're going to get a gold. No way are we going to do it. Yes! 45.7. That's so much quicker. I'm so glad I redone that now. Wow. I am impressed by that performance today. For the first time playing a bike racing game properly, I'll take it. I will take it. And hopefully... In good old Gran Turismo fashion, we get a load of rewards. <laughs> Mechanic CG qualified. Congratulations for passing novice class. What is this reward? New riding gear has been acquired. You can change outfits in the riding gear section. That is awesome. Oh crap, that's a lot of items. Okay. Do you know what we will do now, though? Because that will take us back to this screen. If we quit all the way back, let's take a look at the riding gear quickly. There we go, saving. We are saved. Um, so we have a choice of helmets. Uh, cancel. Got some fairly decent helmets. We got this one's quite nice. Um, we have it in black, yeah? Oh, that's good. Um, I quite like those red gloves. Um, yeah, red. Red's sort of my colour, so... There we go. We'll go for that for now. Um, but once we've done the final licence test, uh, I'll come back and see what we've got. But yeah, that's the novice licence game. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. 
And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like a Christmas.